What are you doing? Well, right now I'm trying to get the ink in here, but not have it blend all together, since these fountain blocks aren't really a good fit for this press. What are the fountain blocks? Are these things here? Yeah. And they keep the ink separate? That's the theory, but unfortunately they don't really conform to this um, uh, fountain rule because they're from that other press over there. So I guess I should explain that a split fountain is where you put more than one color of ink on the same blanket so that you can get multiple colors off of one plate to get sort of a 1960s hippie kind of thing going. And the cool thing, we never did, have we ever done this at uh, Inkworks before? Oh yeah. We have? Back in the... Back in the 60s. <laughs> back in the day. The 70s. 70s, 80s, sure. That's how long these, uh, what are they called, dividers? The blocks? Yeah. That's how long they've been sitting around waiting for this moment? Well, they've not just been waiting, they've actually been utilized before. Yeah. All right. Just using one of the, uh, the towers here. This is a two-color press. There's the blanket down there. So the ink goes on the roller, then it goes where? Onto the plate? So it goes into the roller system, and then eventually it goes down to the plate. It's, uh, it's called offset printing because the, the uh, ink is offset to a series of rollers and blankets and plates. You get a positive image on the paper. Here comes the first sheet. Ah, I missed it. We're not up to color yet. So we don't have the density that you expect from this. This is the first make ready sheet though. You get the idea though. Fucking perfect. Alright? That ink is awesome. The whole thing's perfect. Okay. Love it. Absolutely it better than perfect. No, no, it, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> me, me too. Smells good too.